SWAG S1416 was a trial that was actually piloted in Seattle uh, at the University of Washington and the Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. And because of promising results, we took it to SWAG, a big uh, USNCI uh, cancer research network. And the trial was um, triple negative breast cancer patients or those with a germline mutation in BRCA1 and 2. Everybody got cisplatin as either first or second line treatment for metastatic disease. And then patients were randomized to receive viliparib, a PARP inhibitor or not. Now, what's interesting is we have a couple of PARP inhibitors that are already FDA approved as single agents in breast cancer, as well as ovarian and now prostate, but you can't add them to chemo because of toxicities, um, particularly anemia and neutropenia. We haven't been able to add aliparib or talazoparib, for example, to chemo. Viliparib doesn't have as much um, toxicity uh, to the bone marrow cells. And so um, uh, even though its single agent activity uh, hasn't yet been, been proven as much as the other drugs, its ability to be added to chemotherapy is much higher. So that was the basis for this. Um, we broke the, the people who enrolled in the study up into three groups. One was those who had a BRCA1 or 2 germline mutation. And that actually did not meet its accrual goal. We only had 37 patients. And that was because the other PARP inhibitors had been approved um, uh, during the course of the trial. And so they could get the PARP inhibitor off study. I think that's the main reason we didn't accrue. And then for the rest who were triple negative, we did a bunch of assays looking at what we call BRCA-ness. And so this was looking for homologous repair deficiency and other features of triple negative breast cancer that, that made it act more like it had issues in homologous repair deficiency, more like a BRCA1 or 2 mutant cancer would. And so of those triple negative breast cancer patients, it was almost 50-50, those who met the criteria by our experimental assays for homologous repair deficiency or BACA-ness and not. And what we showed was that in that group, it was about 100 patients who had the HRD or the BRCA-ness feature and were triple negative, they did benefit from the addition of viliparib to cisplatin. And the progression-free survival was 5.7 months versus 4.3 months, and that met statistical significance. The other half, who did not have those BRCA-like features, did not seem to have any benefit from viliparib. And the group that had the germline BRCA1 and 2 mutations, which I told you was small and we didn't meet our accrual goal, there was at least numerically a trend toward benefit for the addition. So I think that this study shows um, some interesting findings uh, combining PARP inhibitors when they can be combined and neutropenia and anemia were the biggest side effects that were greater in the, the combination group um, uh, to get better outcomes for our patients. We're still following up on overall survival. We don't have uh, any solid data on that yet. Mm -hmm.